you know, for you to do so much good in the community, um, because one of the things I do is I never, ever talk about, because I know you personally, I never, ever talk about anything that you do, like no. going back and forth with different things or diff different news that it make, because I'm just like, yo, I'm going to just wait till I see him or I call you and see what the word is, right? Yeah, because I know you get a lot of people with you about, man, why I you here? I don't care. Uh, well, like, for instance, that, that one dude, uh, that one dude at the time, and he said, well, send the paperwork. Even when I sent the documentation from the Supreme Court, yeah, to the all man. So, homie, I'm saying I'm not online for that because I do it in real life. Yeah, yeah, I ain't not. I, I do that in real life. Uh, it's it's. So when I went to Nashville, homie, I didn't know I was gonna meet a grandmother with one, two, three, four. Five grandbabies mm. who mothers just got murdered a few months ago. No, oh, that's deep. Oh, uh, that's crazy. I put my—I ain't gonna say I put my foot in my mouth, but this is my heart. This is my spirit. Oh uh, man, it's such a sadness on them kids, homie. You can see it if you look at them too long. You go get sad. Uh look back. They look girls. Uh I said, say, listen. I don't know how much. This Cost, you hear me? Mm -hmm. I said, man, I'm flying y'all in whenever school get out to a water park. Six Flags, Great Wolf Lodge. Boy, you should have seen them kids light up, homie. I said, mm -hmm. I promise. Man, that woman, you can tell she's struggling. Mm -hmm. She got on a white t-shirt, homie. They just, man, nah, homie, in a position to do that. They don't know them people. But I promise they go out of time of their life. You know what? I you know what else? A lot of people don't realize is that uh, <laughs> when when C hit me up on a regular basis, a lot of times we just call. Sometimes we call and just talk to each other, like checking up on each other and seeing how each other doing. But but other times when we not doing that, you be like, "Hey, your time. Say, man." I got this guy over here, and he's doing some awesome things. We need to be able to help him in the community. All of your energy offline goes to, and you be happy, to, and that's the thing. I be you, excited. You, you be excited to share the opportunities to be able to help other people that's in other, other cities oh. or whatever, or whatever you, you spot. You be like, yo, man, it's these kids over here. You was telling me about the kids over there in Nashville or whatever, so on and so forth, and then you was telling me yeah, about they how gotta, they travel they, the world. Yeah, yeah they got a whole... Uh yeah, they got a whole Grammy Award winning choir from Tennessee State. We don't know nothing about. This is all he talk about when he called me. He be like, man, it's some kids over here. Or, man, it's a dude over here doing something for his community. Uh, That's what you hit me with one on a first, regular basis. One of, the first black, one of the first black males in America uh, to get hit with the, the it's, to be caught with drugs in a school zone where you have to do 100% of your time because you was caught with drugs yep. in the school zone. Yep. Uh, kid from the project, man, they called him Big Fridge out of, out of Nashville. Yeah. was a star football player, yep. running back. like a linebacker. Who was go, man, they say that man, he was bad, but raised in the projects. Mm -hmm. uh, caught with some X pills for the first time, 12 o'clock at night, school zone closed yeah. in the apartments. Because he wouldn't cooperate, they hit him with that school zone law. Man, first time star college player. This was a national story. When we put him on here to tell this story, ESPN go pick him back up. So the one now he the, he was the head of the GDs. Mm -hmm. So when you hear why he became why he became a GD, he said when the first came to Nashville, it came. And I'm from the projects. I'm not Came and hung it. I've been born her all my life. Right. He said, I thought if I got in it, he said when it came, I knew it was gonna become a problem for my family. Mm. So I felt like if I got in it with my influence, I could control. He said, man, we weren't killing each other, no robbing, no nothing. So because of that, he had that influence. Yeah. Uh, that's what really got. And he was a star football player, a star football player. Mm. So the go to prison, homie, and and you know do what most don't do when you got his level of power and influence going there and getting that guy out library and, and and worked his case all the way up to Supreme Court and got his time so the Supreme Court said y'all either resentence him or, or release him so they resentenced him and released him five years early uh 
And now he's like one of the top youth advocates and youth workers in Nashville. But they feel guilty. They know they were wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just stories like that, homie. Uh, so as I'm traveling from state to state, city to city, uh, as I'm with the people in the community, homie, going to go work with the kids, I'm also getting new content and, and, and new black historical stories yeah. uh, and, and testimonials that we can share with other black people and, and capture uh, and create new narratives uh, and, and, and as well as share blueprints uh, out of failure. Uh, most black men's starting line is from failure, homie. When he's 30 some years old, 40 some years old, trying to get his life together after doing time, having fun. Mm -hmm. He, he, he's, he's starting out of failure. Uh, it ain't even a starting line when you're starting out of failure. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so uh, that's, 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 man, that's an uphill battle till you die. Yeah. 40 years old just getting his life together. Don't let him not be married or he ain't been in a relationship 10 years long enough with a woman to where they can build together. When a relationship at 40 and he just got in a relationship with a woman, time they get you see what i'm saying yeah she really ain't trusting especially if he in a compromised state mm -hmm. so so my mind from 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 leaving the the feet of the old uh this the new underground railroad homie mm. yeah this the new underground railroad uh what, what we talk about when these microphones go off homie don't ain't, it ain't no can't nobody hear that yeah that's true yeah what we decide to build and, and do with one another uh, the love that we share with one another, uh, that can't be controlled by no white man and nobody else. Yeah. So I understand that. But if you don't go places and you don't go nowhere, uh, yeah, nah, you, you, you believe what the internet and television show you and tell you. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm good over here. Yeah, we so, good in the city. So, so no, nah, homie, uh, that's what I was saying when I was explaining to most of the people that I've met offline. Most people that I've met in the entertainment world, homie, they either trying to hit a lick off, exploit it, Use a step over you. Step on you to step over you. Yeah, you was telling me about that. Uh, so they, they don't understand. To, to, today's people don't understand the value of, a, of, a, of a, a number one draft pick. They don't understand the value of, of what somebody can bring to the table uh, because they trying to get that, that, that fast trying to nickel. Hit a they trying to get that fast nickel over that slow dollar. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, I, I pay attention to every everybody. Uh, I, I pay very little. No, you do. Homie, I don't listen. I do not watch other people's videos. I don't know what nobody is saying. Mm. If I don't go watch a game in person, I ain't gonna watch no. I don't watch nothing but me. Mm. Uh, because I gotta figure me out uh, from the position I'm in, right? So I gotta still remain strategic. Uh, uh, waiting for. It slip 